When going on winter vacation, there are just so many things that can be done, and so many new experiences that can be made. Though most people, including us in the past, were spending every day going in the ski resort, and were spending most of our time skiing. In 2024, we decided to change that, and during our 7-day stay in the beautiful resort of Ischgl in Austria, we almost every day did something else. This video will be the 13 best things we did during our winter holiday, and we hope that it will inspire you to try new experiences. Let's start with the obvious. Spending one or a couple of days skiing is still a really nice thing to do. Most of the ski resorts have hundreds of kilometers of groomed ski pistes, so it would be a shame not to slide some of them. Especially that up there in the mountain you can get stunning views. But that's what most people do, so it can get crowded. And to be honest, skiing is one of the most expensive things to do. Renting the equipment and buying a daily ski pass is never cheap. A great alternative to skiing is cross-country skiing. It's something completely different than skiing. And actually, it isn't that easy. You will need to push and use your whole body to move. Cross-country skiing is done mostly on flat groomed pistes with little slopes. It allows you to discover beautiful paths and to do a great deal of exercise. It was our first time trying cross-country skiing and we loved it. As first timer, we took a group lesson, which we would definitely recommend. Another great advantage of cross-country skiing, the boots were so comfortable compared to the regular ski boots. And you don't need a ski pass to do it. We love hiking. And while in the mountain, it seemed quite a good idea to actually go for a hike. The scenery is so different compared to summer hikes. Walking a trail covered in snow is so nice and makes such a pretty noise. They are often multiple choice and hikes for every level. The one we found was a back and forth hike with a mountain hut at the end. We brought some food, a bottle of hot tea and made a lunch break on a breathtaking mountain hut where we were almost all alone. The way back down the mountain was most probably the funniest thing of all. After winter hiking, let's go on to the next level, snowshoeing. It's pretty much the same as winter hiking, only that you have snowshoes and walking poles. It allows you to go higher and even out of the groomed trails. It's also a super nice activity and the snowshoes makes walking on the snow so easy. We understand that not everyone likes hiking, but why not just walking around? No need to get in the mountains with lots of elevation gain. You can simply go for easy walks around. On a sunny day, it will be super pretty. And if you want something really flat, they are often walking paths along the cross-country tracks. So follow them and you will have a really good time. Another thing that is quite cool to do and that's actually how we started our vacation, is to simply walk around those beautiful mountain villages. Though most of them are small, it is really worth walking around to get to know the place you'll be staying in. Now that all the exercises are done, let's get to more comfortable things to do. For that, let's start with the spa and swimming pool. Nothing better than enjoying some spa time, especially in the afternoon after a whole day of adventure. We personally enjoy the swimming pool, the water pressure treatments and the relaxing room. In Austria, sauna, hammam and that kind of stuff are naked only. As we are not fan of naked only, we skip those. But maybe where you are it is different, or you don't mind naked. We don't know for you, but we are not really party people. However, spending a few hours in an upper ski or after ski bar is something that must be experienced. Where we were, the most famous one 
was the Kustal, and it was so much fun. The place has such amazing vibes, and the Austrian after ski music makes the place a real wonder. Something a little bit more touristy to do, and something that kids will love, is to do a horse-drawn carriage tour. It lasts for around one hour or so and is a relaxing thing to do. When we did it, the night was coming, making the sky stunning. Next thing to do is to enjoy some local and delicious food. We have a real and long tradition when it comes to meals and food, and we can spend hours at the table. There are so many local and traditional dishes to try. For lunch, we always ate outside, in either a restaurant in town, a mountain hut in the mountain, or a restaurant in one of the main ski stations. For dinner, we always ate in our hotel, where we had a multi-course dinner. That way, we were mixing traditional food at lunch and more refined one at dinner. To be honest, when we travel, we don't often spend time in our room. And we found it a shame, especially when the room is that cozy. That's why, during our winter vacation, we made sure to spend some time in our room, reading a book, posting something on social media, resting on the couch, chatting about the day, and even taking a hot bath, as it is something we never usually do. The next thing to do is actually something you can combine with walking around in town, and it is shopping or window shopping. Where we stayed, we found a few cozy shops, as well as a super cool piggy in one of them, that I should have bought. If you don't know, the piggy is the animal representing our couple. But there are also many clothing shops, and in some of them you can find good deals. And the final thing to do is actually a bonus. That year in Nishgal, the highest LEGO fan exhibition in the world was taking place in the ski resort. Over 40 exhibitors from LEGO fan clubs were showing their impressive creation. Some of our favorites were the Star Wars area, where Tina became the Empress of the Empire, a replica of the Naboo hangars, the Castle of Hogwarts, and a huge island replica.